Welcome to another TechPlot Quick Hits video series. Today we're going to talk about automation and macros with TechPlot 360 EX. My name is Darrell Rittenberg. I'm the VP of Product Management here at TechPlot and responsible for the TechPlot products. So we've done a fair amount of work in TechPlot 360 EX to improve the way users leverage our macro language. We've uh, implemented a sidebar, which is the quick macro panel. You can see here that it allows you to have a list of macros that can be plain or used with a single click or a double click if you click on the text. In addition, we've made it very easy to interactively record macros. The output is readable, and so you really don't need or require programming background to get the automation. Let's go ahead and look at this simple example. Uh, we're going to go ahead and record a macro. I'll put it somewhere simple so I can access it very quickly. The uh, first thing you can see here is we can just call this uh, slice that wing, please. And the idea is that we're going to record a macro which will take an extract on the surface of uh, the wing of this UAV. Now I put a graphics off into the macro primarily because if I'm running this interactively I don't need to see it um, show all the steps as we're going along here. So I'm, I'm going to add a second slice holding the shift button. All that does is tell TechPlot to add a second slice. I'm going to uh, put on a start end slice and then I'll put in that there are 10 intermediate slices and that I want to slice through the surface. I'll go into the other options and I'm going to show a mesh. And on the mesh I'm going to just use pressure. It isn't really all that critical. Now if I, I do a redraw you can see kind of what this looks like. And one of the things you'll notice is that it's actually um, cutting the rear wing. I don't really want that this, for this example, so I'm going to right-click and deactivate that wing. If I redraw, you can see it's gone. I'll then uh, click or right-click right here on the slice, and I'm going to extract it. And I'll go ahead and say, yeah, I want to extract it, and each one's going to go into a zone. And that's all you need to do to, uh, to create this macro. Let me show that to you. So here's the macro itself. I'll go ahead and open it. And you can see it's relatively straightforward. It has a number of things. It set contra variables. It talks about the slice attributes. And then there's a couple of mouse clicks um, that basically turn things on and turn things off. What we want to look at is the techplot.mcr file. The techplot.mcr file is actually located in wherever you install techplot. And you can see there's a include macro function name here. And we're going to call it slice that wing, please. And there's a command that we're going to use called include macro, which basically I'm going to say, look in this directory, and the name of the macro is slice that wing, please.mcr. And I'll go ahead and save this. And let's go back into 360. So here's 360. I'm actually going to start over, put up a new layout. I'll do that here. OK. I'll load it in just as the, the actual plane. And I'm going to use the slice that wing, please, macro. And you can see that it actually will create those extracts with just a couple of clicks. And that's how you use the quick macro panel. Thanks for watching this quick hit video. Again, TechBot 360EX, really focusing on making the process of CFD visualization fun, fast, and easy. Thanks again for watching. If you have any comments on this video or would like to see a video that you didn't see in the list, Go ahead and contact me at d.rittenberg at techplot.com. Thanks for watching.